In this video, I will show you how you can install WhatsApp on your iPhone 4 in 2019. So this is um, beginning of March 2019. And yes, we can still uh, use WhatsApp. We can say I've launched and uh, WhatsApp is working perfectly fine. So um, I'm going to show you how. Before we begin, please uh, take note that you need to back up your phone just uh, in case of emergency that you need to restore any data. So uh, please back up your iPhone 4 to your computer using iTunes or what other methods you have. Uh, please back them up before we begin. Now you will need to install Cydia for this to work. So I have installed Cydia on this phone and I will install WhatsApp uh, for this to work. I'm going to start fresh on this phone here. This hasn't have any WhatsApp on it and it doesn't have uh, Cydia so it will be easier for me to show you on a fresh phone. Now on your computer go and download um, go to this website so pangu.io and we want to download pangu version 1.2.1 .1. so download down to the computer first and then we're going to install it onto your phone. Once it is downloaded to your computer plug the USB cable into the computer and your phone. So now it's connected. I'm going to tap on trust. And then here we're going to install the file. And then tap on click on run. And then click on jailbreak and on the phone we need to adjust the date and time so we go into settings and then general so date and time and we need to turn off set automatic so turn it off and we need to tap on the time and we need to change the time so to June 2nd 2014 sorry so we need to change the date to this one here so June 2 2014 okay once we get to the 2nd of June 2014 yeah, just tap on the back key and this one here it will uh, continue so just tap on the back key press on the home button and wait for this to uh, continue so you can see it's injecting banners please wait so just please wait and uh, we will resume the video once it's uh, complete at this point on your phone you can see it say pangu uh, install on the phone like so you will see the device, the device will be rebooted so just wait and the device will start up now ok the phone will reboot once more so just wait ok once it's done you should, you should see it say a message that it's done and on your phone you should see it says Syria right here so the next step is to tap on the app Syria and launch it and we need to install AppSync it will say preparing file system so you just have to wait for it to finish if this is the first time you are launching Cydia it will show you this the next time it will not show you it again now tap on Cydia again to launch so it's loading once this finishes loading tap on sources and we need to uh, install AppSync so tap on edit right here then tap on add and then we need to put in the URL in here so um, this is the URL beta dot unli maps m a p p s dot com and then tap on add source so tap on add source and wait for it to verify URL and then we can return to Cydia 
So we just ignore that for now. So still trying to uh, reloading some data right there. Now from the sources, you should see it's a beta dot apps dot com. Now we tap on that, and then tap on all packages, and we can try to search for it. So tap in app, and then tap on app admin, and then tap on install, and confirm, and wait for the install to finish. So here it will install. So wait for the in install app admin and tap on restart springboard and the font will restart okay the next step is to uh, download um, whatsapp so make sure you go into settings then go to itunes And make sure that you sign in already. So I've signed in with my Apple ID already. So sign into your account. Then we go to App Store. Now in here, I'm going to tap on Search and tap in WhatsApp. And tap on the Download button. And tap on Downgrade. And in here we're going to install a version that will work. So I'm installing this version here that I know it works. So it's now installing. So just wait for it to install. So once it's finished install, just tap on WhatsApp and it will launch now it say that you see that it say this version is expired that's okay we need to uh, change the date so let's go into settings and go into general date and time and we need to change it turn off time automatic and we need to change the date so we just need to change it to somewhere in uh, uh, June 2018, so somewhere around that time. And then tap on the back, so we just start WhatsApp again. So change the date back into June June 2018. We launch WhatsApp again. So it so said that the clock is not correct. So I just want to change it back somewhere in June. So I'm just going to tap them back here. And we'll start WhatsApp again. Now, if that date doesn't work, you want to move it up to somewhere August. Uh, so I'm just going to move it to August 11th. And I'll give it a try again. Because this release is around August. So once you get the time right, the date right, you can continue. So tap on I agree and continue. We put in a phone number to uh, sign in. And then tap on done. Now it does involve quite a bit, but it will work. And I'm just gonna verify. So a text message we sent to this number. And you can see it's a validating code. And I'm just going to skip restore. And tap on done. And that's it. So you can see it's working fine. So, WhatsApp is in here. We can uh, start chatting. And that's it. That's how you can install WhatsApp on your iPhone 4.
in uh, March 2019. So this is kind of end of February, beginning of March 2019. And, that's, and you still can install WhatsApp. The only thing is you have to install an older version of WhatsApp uh, on your iPhone 4 running iOS 7.x. Thank you for watching this video. If it has helped you, please subscribe to my channel for more videos.